Hey everyone, welcome to another medical video. In this tutorial, we talk about the pathophysiology of acne. Water makes up 60% of our body weight. Fluid losses greater than 15% are usually fatal. Let me ask you a question. Which organ prevents the sun, from absorbing all of our body water? Yes, it is the skin. Epidermis, the outer layer of the skin is somewhat waterproof, due to the hard keratin layer. But it isn't enough to beat the sun. The dermis of the skin, contains sebaceous glands. It secretes waterproof sebum onto the skin surface. Can you guess, what substance gives the waterproof ability to sebum? Have you noticed, how hard it is to remove oil with water? That's because the lipid is so hydrophobic. So there's no wonder sebum is full of lipids. Mainly the triglycerides. Sebaceous glands open into hair follicles, and from there, sebum reaches the surface of the skin. Sebum also carries the dead skin cells out of the follicles. Everything works fine when you are a child. But when you hit puberty, testosterone levels increase suddenly. Unfortunately testosterone, increases the sebum production. But this is not enough to produce acne. There's a protein called keratin, in the skin cells. Some people produce this protein, excessively due to genetic predispositions. We call this hyperkeratinization. High keratin content in the dead skin cells, glues the dead cells to one another. The mixture of high sebum and keratins, block the hair follicle, giving rise to comedons. If the comedons are protected by the skin, we notice the white lipid substance in acne. That's what we call whiteheads. But if the skin cover is lost, the melanin in the comedon is oxidized to become darker. We call them the blackheads. We all know too much lipid is bad for our health. But the bacteria, Propionibacterium acnes doesn't seem to know that. It grows rapidly, in the lipid rich comedons. The bacteria, initiates an inflammatory response. And further expands the comedons. When they inflame the dermis, and get filled with pus, we get pustules. If the inflammation expands deep into the dermis, where the nerve roots lie, we call them acne cysts. They are larger than the pustules. And they are painful because they are in contact with the nerve roots. And because of the heavy inflammation they often cause scars. I'll discuss the treatment options in another video. See you soon, but don't forget to subscribe.